am stuck here. I will be here half a year in total. Hi guys, welcome back to a Beyond Pad Thai channel. It's been a while since I've done this. Almost less. Since this coronavirus pandemic this happened. Today though, we're gonna be checking out around the city here where I'm staying at, Vaparaiso, Chile. I've been here in Chile for many months now. I'm gonna bring you guys out to the real world here in Chile and see what's actually happening right now. Let's go. Oh wait, I think I forgot something. not just me alone today. I have like this whole family who also stay at the same hostel with me. There's uh, two humans and one monkey right there. Como te llamas? No, tú, tú, como te llamas? Quiero. I don't need like um the mask just yet because it's just us right now walking on the street. I just want to tell you the backstory first, how I got stuck here in Chile. I was traveling there in Peru for like two months and I was on my way to Brazil. The transfer flight was here in Chile, so I thought why not instead of just like one, two hours, why don't I spend like 10 days or something just to check out Santiago and the city and all. And then just right before I get to Brazil, Chile announced they're closing the border. It was when it happened to start like really intense of the situation and it got even worse i moved to the hostel somewhere like um here in Vaparaiso. two of the american girls that i was staying with they got the coronavirus you guys i actually ended up being there at the hostel that hostel inside cannot go out actually locked down for at least like three weeks So that was intense but right now it's quite okay because I can sit with you guys here, I can go out, I can walk around shopping and stuff and you'll be surprised how it actually is here outside in Chile. One thing I really love about Vaparaiso is that all the houses, all the building, if you see from far, it's like so colorful and it's also like on the hill like this, up and down so you can see all the different color like really beautiful hill and mountain everywhere so there's gonna be all the small little stairs that you can go check out all small little alleys and stuff <laughs> the view is stunning here while I was walking just right here up on up on the hill one of the guy in the house just shouted at me like mascarilla which means like put on the mask now, this is the shortcut. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> and so I ask, what? It's just like I said, look at the stair. <laughs> A high stair again. <sighs> Plaza Business? Paparaiso Chile happening just only on Monday. So they sell some like fruit and vegetable and some other handmade and homemade products. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna buy something here, but I need some like fruit and vegetable for sure. Hola, ¿cuánto es? 500 la semana. 500 kilo. El kilo. Un kilo, por favor. Ahí está el kilo. Sí. One kilo of carrot is pretty much wow. Not even like a little bit more than half a dollar. Then is um picante? Eh, ají. Sí, ají o um rocoto. No. Oh no, este no. I got carrot. Oh, guess. Oh, like beetroot. Ah, beetroot. 
500 para dos o oh, no 500 500 ah mil so two of that for a little bit over a dollar hola hola cuánto es 250 pesos oh no bosa por favor no bosa no bosa sí muy picante un un momento aquí aquí, aquí. <laughs> gracias this time we are at one of the market right here in Valparaiso, Chile. Street food, pizza, pizza. Yeah, there's some like street food here and there, but not much at all. Food. Oh, and right there on my left, there they sell marijuana. I'm not quite sure if it if it's actually like. <laughs> Legal here to smoke weed. Do you actually call this the social distancing or whatever going on right now? There's so many people like this all the time. Hey. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, there's so many people selling on the street. One of the reasons because a lot of people lost their jobs and this they will have to make their living. And it's like this almost every day except for Sunday. You can find literally like um many things here on the street but they have such a limited amount of not amount limited varieties of fruits and vegetables. Not as many as in Peru or Asia or wherever. Chilean street food over here, like a hot dog with some tomato, onions, and avocado on there. I've never tried in this shop yet. Wow, strawberry looks so good! Yeah, it looks super good right there. There's still shops like this opening every day. So. Thirteen seconds. If this not a long line, yeah, I think we can go check out. Oh, some orange juice, fresh orange juice right here. So some of the shops, especially like bigger shops like this, they're gonna scan you. I think it's pretty much everywhere now, huh? In the world, and then I'm gonna prepare you some alcohol. But some smaller shop they don't have it. But some smaller shop they're gonna limit people. Like let's say. Three people, five people at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. Then, alcohol right here. Thank you. As you can see, it's not that bad of the situation. People still like walking on the street normally, like actually a lot of people. It's just like normal days that people just put the mask on. That's actually how I feel. Since when it started, when people start to like freaked out and all that, until now, that it's already like normal kind of situation that I don't feel scared no more. Seems like in the news, they say in Chile it's getting worse. The number of the people who got the coronavirus has increased. They're gonna do like all this lockdown, like actual lockdown. Other countries probably like passed that stage already. Chile, Valparaiso, just getting started. So I'm not quite sure what's happening. And also the flight, there's no flight in and out from San Diego at least for another month or two. I'm stuck here. I actually am, but... It's been already almost like four months and if it's gonna be another one or two months or even longer, I'll be here half a year in total. Not much of street food around here in Chile. All the restaurants are closed and mostly just do delivery and all this takeout. I mean if I take out all the time, do delivery all the time, cost of living gonna be quite high. That's why I've been cooking quite a lot. I would totally do a cooking video if I actually didn't suck at it that much. I'd rather eat poodle shit than put that in my mouth. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking hell. That is pretty much it guys. So normally my days is not that long and not that short. My spot here, this is my working area being cozy. Afternoon tea every day. <laughs> mm. Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this update about 
what I've been up to, what has been going on here around where I live at the moment because I think I'm gonna be here for a few more months. Fingers across, not gonna be more than that. Hi again guys! So, today, June the 10th, bam, the most updated video I've ever made right here. Um, I've been editing just this one, which is this one. You, this going to be in here. Chile, Vaparaiso actually just announced the official lockdown. <laughs> it's happening. So that, the video that you've just watched, that was from two days ago. So I was gonna put it out either tonight or tomorrow. And today I just got the news. <laughs> We are getting into the actual lockdown, like official lockdown. Also, I actually forgot to mention that um, one, of the, one of the reasons that I haven't been filming out so much here in Chile. I have so much footage from Peru, that's one of the reasons. But another reason coronavirus related is that once like people lost their job a lot this day, they have to make their living or if not, even worse. Two of my American friends who actually got the coronavirus at the beginning like a few months back, they got robbed here in Vaparaiso in the market during the day. So that was scary. Like when I go out, I didn't want to bring my phone for a few months or something. Right before that, actually, my friend was actually doing a road trip until he's also stuck here. He parked his truck, not exactly in front of the hostel, but it's been fine for a few weeks. And then one day his car, got broken into so everything is gone that also scared me a little bit i didn't want to bring out my camera and do anything like with this big camera at all no phone also so the most i could do right now is to bring my like small camera out so that's the most i can do for the content at the moment but you guys we can do something creative inside it could be some challenge it could be some ASM our stuff if you would be down let me know and if you have any cool ideas just leave the comment down below i would love to hear from you guys and i promise i might make it happen so i hope you guys enjoyed and actually let me show you first this is my um my snack before dinner so nowadays since i've been in chile it's been yeah i've been drinking wine every night red wine come in there cup is a little bit a little bit dirty but mm. now she's <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this update I'll see you guys in my next insight video see you kids mm.